hello guys in this video i'm going to be showing us the um, journey of electricity from the electric pole down to our different buildings so this is a representation of a control board a control board we always have control board somewhere in our home so at the end of this video you are going to be well acquainted with everything that is happening at the control board of your building so we're going to start from the electric pole so the electric pole we have um we have three hot lines and then one neutral so this point is a fuse point these are the three faces three phase fuse point it is the neutral link this is the cover this is the fuse itself that will be covering these points depending on where we have light then this is a changeover system is a changeover system where you can have input here input here and then this is your building all right so if you have light here you switch up if you have another source, let's say your generator, you bring this down. So is it that you use a knife switch? This is a knife switch changeover or a gear changeover. So this is a gear changeover. The gear changeover we have, this is the input of supply one, live, neutral. Okay, so live, neutral, supply one. Let's say your public grid, live, neutral of supply two. Let's say your generator. So how this happens is that it has a gear. So this gear has conductive terminals okay here and here are conductive so if you have power in this very first input and you push this gear up it's going to conduct from here to here okay live from here to here neutral these lines that are continuous are the ones that will go to your building these lines these ones that are continuous so life this will conduct life from this point to this point to go to your building neutral from this point to this point it will go to your building so you have life and neutral all right so if you have light in this second terminal we have input a input b okay so if you have input for let's say from generator there is light here life and there's light here neutral so if you bring this gear down it's going to conduct life from here to the one going into your building this is the input to your building and it's going to conduct neutral from here to the input to your building all right so you just push the gear to wherever you have um light okay so this is a circuit breaker three-phase circuit breaker and this is our distribution board and this is the switch of our distribution board now let's get straight to see how this is done okay so first of all let us see how the fuse is connected watch me pick one It comes here there's always screws at this terminal so if you're losing it you insert your wire okay so that is that then we pick the second it comes to this point we pick the third This is a three-phase supply system. The third one comes here. Then the three-phase has been supplied, okay? So the last one is our neutral. Then we pick neutral from here. Neutral travels to the neutral link. Some people do not use neutral link. They just um, join it, okay? So they don't have this very component they just join it now this is how the fuse is supplied at the top here there is a looping of this point to this point this point to this point now this is what happens at every point in time we are making use of either one of these three and the neutral Okay, so this is the cover of this um, fuse point. So, and what happens here is that there is a screw point here. We take a piece of wire and join here to this point. So, if there is light at this point, you pick this up and plug it here. So, whenever you plug it here, you've supplied light from here because it's connected from here to this output point. 
all right the output points are all looped so if there is no light here you pick from here if there is no light here and there is light here you take this cover and place it here it jumps it connects electricity from here to this output point okay so the output points are all looped so whichever phase you have light once you plug this the output points are supplied so at every point in time you are going to cover only one phase you pick one phase and then you pick your neutral all right so that is that now we continue traveling it's either you make use of your knife switch changeover or you make use of a gear switch changeover okay or a gear changeover so let's connect our um let's connect our knife switch changeover let's assume you're making use of a knife switch changeover so from here this is Life, we come here while neutral we come here the essence of a changeover is when you have multiple sources of power okay so let's say we have a generator if you have a generator life and neutral of the generator we come here life and neutral so this can be generator or your solar um, inverter output of your inverter so what happens is this if there is no light from the public grid you bring this down and make use of your alternative power supply but if there is light at the public grid you take this up okay so from here now this is life to your building this is neutral to your building so this is where goes to your um distribution board all right so let's assume you want to make use of a gear switch this is optional you either make use of this changeover or this changeover so let's assume we're making use of this changeover still from the public grid supply from the public grid supply let's say let's say our life comes to this point this is the input point then we equally pick the neutral remember this is the public grid now or first source so the neutral comes here all right and if we are making use of a generator or any other alternative source of power we'll do the same thing this is our generator we loop live and neutral good so this point is the output points going to our building all right so if there is light in let's say if we want to make use of our generator if here is supplied if you bring this gear down there is a conductive part here this gear is a conductive part that will bridge here and here the input the neutral input is coming here so once you bring this gear down this we create a contact between here and here so it will close here and here all right for neutral and it will equally close here this point and this output point for the life the neutral enters here if you close this gear neutral will flow from here to this point going to our building life will flow from here to this point going to our building so the same thing happens if we are making use of the public grid if we take this gear up neutral flows from here to this point that is going to our building life flows from here to this point going to our building all right so there are screws here at this point there are screws here you can um loosen the screw and fit in wire or remove wire so i'm just trying to explain all right so these points are the points going to our building so is either you are making use of knife switch or you're making use of um the gear switch so let's say let's assume if you are making use of the gear switch this time so the neutral point this is the, the neutral going to our building so this is it here then the life going to our building remember you can either make use of um this very changeover or this very changeover all right so the outputs to our building i just picked the two of them so whichever one you want to use 
use this is usually used for lower um power rated you know um installations while this is mostly used for you know, when you have heavier loads so from here now we supply our building so most of the time people like to adopt another protective device so this thing is a circuit breaker okay so this is how it is done this is a three-phase circuit breaker we we'll pick this life going to our building it comes here is single phase so you have to loop here and loop here because if you supply only here there will be output only at this point all right so we so we'll just loop the three so that we have three complete outputs here all right so from here this is our distribution board we are going to see this practically but let's understand how this works so from here supply you supply you supply all right so there is also an output terminal from here it will now distribute to the different circuit breakers inside here so there are numerous circuit breakers inside the distribution board so they all pick life from this very switch now the next thing is our neutral link please remember it is the points going to our building that i picked whether for your knife switch changeover or for your gear um, changeover so you pick the neutral threats to the neutral link all right so depending on the type of protective circuit breaker you're using there are certain circuit breakers two pole circuit breakers that can protect both life and neutral at the same time so if it's the type of circuit breaker you're using you will see both this neutral line entering one terminal of a circuit breaker the life of this circuit breaker will come here you loop this switch while the neutral will now go to the neutral link all right so then the next thing we are having here is earth Earth is usually buried underground using an earth rod or an earth mat. Okay, so this is a complete movement of electricity from the pole into our building. So from here, we now pick a circuit breaker can supply to a, a lighting point, socket, AC, or whatever load we have in our building. So it, it starts from here, three-phase system here 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 and the neutral so at every point in time we're making use of either this with this this together with this or this and this so this is the cover of the um fuse points all right so you pick wherever you which with whatever face you want to use you cover you plug it there so when you plug it there it's going to conduct from this input to the output then the output goes to either your changeover or whatever changeover you're going to make use of all right so if you have your digital multimeter and you want to check what phase um what phase is supplied because sometimes the three phases may not be supplied let's say there is no light in your building and this very fuse is connected to one of these terminals so what you can do is to unplug it confirm if this conducting wire this fuse wire is still there or it has burnt out if it has burnt out simply replace it so but if it has not burnt out please set your multimeter to the highest voltage set it to the highest voltage my highest voltage here is uh is um 750 all right so you place one probe here and one probe at the neutral to confirm if there is light at this phase there won't be you won't get voltage at this upper point because we need this plugged in before current can flow from down to up so if you want to confirm whether there is light at the faces you put one probe here one probe here. if there's light in this phase you're going to get some ac voltage reading you place here and you place here so there must be light in one of them or the three of them whichever one that there's light you take this and plug it there that is for um light from power from the public grid right now okay so you can equally test these faces but make sure that your volt, your, your meter is set to the highest because three-phase voltage is usually from 300 volts and above, 280, 260 and above. So if you place here and here, you're going to get up to 280 or 3 something. If you test here and here, the same. If you test these hot lines, you give very, very high voltage that can only be used for industrial purposes. But if you test any of these hot terminals and the neutral to give you 200, 220 there about some countries make use of 120 but in my country we make use of 220 volts so this is just the um 
complete explanation of the travel path of electricity from the pole into our building. I will show us a more practical um, demonstration or practical application of this so that we understand better. Thank you guys.